Welcome back. You are now looking at Google search and you'll notice that what's written in the search box is the word ingram, N-G-R-A-M. And if you click that link, the very first result, it's going to take you to Google ingram viewer. Now what Google ingram viewer does is it shows you the popularity of a phrase in published books from 1800 to 2000. And so what it does is it really gives you an indication of how popular an idea really is. Now in Google Ngram Viewer, one of the things that you will want to know is that search terms are case sensitive. So that if you write in a search term and you put in a capital letter, it's going to give you a different result than if you put in one with lowercase letters. For example, if we were to write in the word orange, and we were to search books from 1800 to 2000, we would see one term. However, if we were to change this term to one with capital letters, we're going to see a totally different trend. And so this is a good way of being able to get insight on the popularity of a term. Now, this is one of those cases where if you start using modifiers, you're going to find different search results. So if you were to take your cheat sheet and you were to use some of the modifiers, you'll see a totally different term if we were to subtract all of the instances where there was Florida. So what we did was we looked at the term orange without the term Florida with it. Now, if you wanted to use the chart in your marketing, one of the things that you can do is you can actually embed the chart. So in this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to click embed chart. That's going to give you an HTML code that you can actually cut and copy and put inside of your website. And you'll see the chart now posted here inside of a website. So every individual chart that you actually put together, you can actually embed that chart in a website. And when you're looking at Ingram Viewer, if you go into the About tab, one of the things you're going to discover is that Google Ingram actually has its own set of search terms. And so you want to make sure that not only are you using the search operators that were discussed in the first video, but that you also look specifically at those that are going to work inside of Google Ingram search. Now, although the search is limited to 2000, you can actually limit the search even more if you want to write in a smaller subset in this particular case, you'll see a different trend line. You can look at those trend lines here at the bottom in these links. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.